All right, welcome back, Chimicum fans. In the last video, um, we learned and, and created a graph for our current levels in the fall. Now, if I click up here to Sheets Home, and, and you can do this, uh, or you can use the same one you were on. I'm going to make a different one. I'm going to open up a new blank document, and this one I'm going to call Chimicum. Creek, and I'm going to keep doing DO, because I did it last time. DO over time. Because now, we're going to go back in time. Now watch where you find this data. This is uh, really cool. Um, you're going to scroll all the way and see where it says averages. I've got some important thing there. It's a link to all the data we've collected in Chimicum Creek going back for, oh, so many years. This is wild. Notice this year is blank, but you have the averages right here. So right now, for this year, I can use 8.62. So here's how we set up our, our graph. Remember, the first column is what variable? That's correct. Manipulated variable, also known as independent, which is time, because time is what's changing. But this, instead of putting date, I'm going to put years. And then the responding or dependent variable is still DO in milligrams per liter. That hasn't changed. Now here's a choice you have to make. Um, if you want your graph to go in chronological order from the earliest to the present, from the past to the present, then you're going to want to start with the first year we have on this spreadsheet. So look at that. I'm going way down. It's 2002. So I go 2002, 2003, and using the trick we learned from Mr. Brennan, we're going to go down. Ooh, went one too far. All the way to 2020. Look at that. That was really cool. So now that I have that, I'm going to actually start with 2020, so I can get rid of this. The average DO, milligrams per liter, is 8.62. So let's get rid of that. Let's go over here. And let's write 8.62. Uh, now I have to go through all of these, look for DO, and write what it was. But remember, this is 2002. So I gotta jump up to here. All right, so let's see. Okay, so I made a mistake. Uh, 2020, that was the data we got last year because we did it in the spring. This year we did it in the fall, so ooh, that's a bit tricky. It's still 2020. So I'm going to specify uh, here, I don't know how, let's just leave it at 2020 for 8.96. So let's move the 8.62 here and 8.96. Wow, it was pretty similar uh, these last two years. And we'll call this one 2021 just to make it flow better. All right. Whew. Now. Just like in the last video, you're going to do this, click here, and I mean, it pretty much creates the graph for you. So there you have it. Um, you're going to want to make sure your title, we're going to change it like I showed you in the last video. Do it just like that. You've got your labels perfect because I, I set it up on my data table perfectly. So it went down here perfectly. And a few things you can customize. Uh, really cool to check these out is, let's see, on series, you can change the color of the line to make it, I don't know, pop or, or uh, make it the way you want. You can include a legend, which I think is a good idea, and I want the legend on the, on the right. I like to have my legend on the right. And the horizontal and the vertical axis. Uh, one thing I like to do is scale factor. 
Um, if we do point 0.1, that doesn't work. So let's leave it at default uh, for that one. And the labels, oh, no, we don't want to do that. Clicked on that one by mistake. Minimum and maximum works because it starts at zero. So I don't have to change that. So that's actually fine. Vertical axis, do I want to, goes to zero to 15. That's good. Grid lines, uh, major grid lines. If you put minor, it adds more lines. And you can do that to the horizontal axis. Add the minor. And that makes it easier to, to follow along with your finger to see if you got the data correctly. And, I mean, you can play around with that. Make it your own. Uh, and do make the title and subtitle so it's more accurate. And this one you can write something like Dissolved Oxygen Jimicum Creek over the last uh, 20 years. Or 21, 20, whatever it is. 19. Count it. Um, What's oh, 20? <laughs> I just have to look at the spreadsheet. I got this. So there you go. That's how you make both your graphs. And you're going to use both these graphs when you teach your parameter to your cohort mates. So make sure you look at the patterns and, and know what you're going to say because you're the expert on dissolved oxygen. Good luck.